Okay, so Jordan's just been uh, checking in this implant that we're actually going to use tomorrow. So these are the instruments, right? And uh, there's actually a couple here that are sort of already being done. Yeah, so basically with the paperwork that the company's provided, we will inspect every instrument that you can see on these trays here. They have serial numbers and lot numbers just so they can be clearly identified and essentially we will tag these trays just for clear identification just so we know who they're being used on, who will be using them and what date the oper operation will be taking. Um, we will tag paperwork with special tags for our tracking system so that it may be identified later on or to see who has handled it, um, to see when it's been, if and when it's been sterilized and to ensure that it has passed all of our sterilization parameters. So essentially after it's gone from uh, our original checks and everything, we will take it into be decontaminated into the washers. And then from then on, it will be inspected again, wrapped and sterilized. All right, so here's the uh, journey of our instruments. So uh, these are the instruments that we're gonna to use tomorrow for our patient, have a hip replacement. And uh, Desha and Jordan are bring them through into the sterilization department. There you go. G'day team. See, this is the sterilization department. Yep. And uh, these guys, uh, these guys are the unsung heroes, you know, because without clean instruments, then the whole hospital stops. There's absolutely no operations that are done in this hospital if we can't achieve 100% sterility. So these guys are the engine room, right? These are the engine rooms. So. Uh, and the unsung heroes because they're here doing a fair bit of work behind the scenes to be able to make all the action happening. So, all right, I'm going to catch up to these instruments. All right. So this is the uh, this is where our instruments are going now. Other part in the uh, sterilisation department. So, and Des is going to show us what we're going to do. All the instruments need to go through a wash, a thorough wash. That'll reach at least 90 degrees, and all of them have chemicals that are rushing through it to make sure that these are all clean. So, to tell us a little bit about this machine. Tell us a bit about it. Um, this is um, uh, just a washer, a single washer. Yep. Um, and what does it do? Oh, no, it just washed the engine yep. in here. Yep, yep. So, it's like a big dishwasher. Essentially, it is a big dishwasher. Yep. Awesome. So. Yeah, just wash it through and then um, just fill up on this one. So what it's done is just a free wash. Yep. And then um, a wash. Yep. A rinse. Yep. And a drying cycle. Yeah, and that's it. It's all um, through the outside. Side, okay. And so, how long will this run for? Um, this will run about forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. Yeah. Yep. And this is just a, a, an initial cleaning process, isn't it? This is not formal sterilisation yet. No. Okay. 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 So this is the other part of the sterilisation department that we haven't seen thus far, so... It goes to the other side of the machine. So, big department. This is a, there's a very, very big department. A lot of people work here. Yeah. You're going to be famous. Yeah, yeah. Famous, famous. <laughs> All right. These are the instruments used today yep. that have been washed and they have come through the washer all almost dry. Yep. So now they'll, they'll end up going into the dish dryer yep. for an hour and then they'll get done up. And these instruments are just coming out of there. There we go. I recognise these instruments. Use. Some lucky persons had these instruments today. Yeah, that's right. Yep, absolutely. And then from here, so we'll end up on this table over here. Then someone will check them in. Once they're all checked in, 
They'll come back to me and I'll go through them again. So Linda, take me through what you're up to. Um, so uh, we're just going to the train fixes when we check that the correct amount of instruments are in the trays with the correct sizes and correct types. And we also look over that they're cleaned as well uh, to make sure the cleaning process has happened. And put in um, the, uh, the tags uh, that are once they're sterilised, they've turned black so that the theatre nurses can see that they've been through the sterilisation process. So at the moment they're just cleaned, mm -hmm. but they will be going through the steam steriliser after they're wrapped. And what's the sheet that you've got there? So this is our checklist that we check that all the instruments come back to see if they're steam. And also the nurses will check this in the theatre when they're checking off and counting instruments. And so why is that sheet important? Uh, just to make sure that we get the right instruments back, that we've got the right instruments to start the case as well, um, those kinds of things. This is a tracking list that we use where we check our instruments, but also we can track our instruments against the patient. So this number will get linked up with the patient that it's used on. Right, so Des is going to show us some uh, some brooches that we've used for a hip, hip replacement uh, today, huh? That's right. Yep. Today. Uh, just to make sure that it's the correct tray, I've got the name of the tray up here. Yeah. Um, and I've got the tray that we're going to use today. Same from work for the same tray. And now what I'll do is to make sure that all the instruments are there. I'll go one by one. I'll do the next step. So what this is well so what Des is doing at the moment is she's inspecting the brooches for uh, cleanliness, but also uh, their serviceability. Uh, and the completeness of the set. So these instruments that we used uh, that we used today, and uh, they're going to be prepared again and uh, used again tomorrow. Yep. So what have you found? Show me what you found. I'm not sure. I don't think I've found anything, but just to, I think there might have been like something in here, but just to double check. Wow, I'm your eyes are better than them. mine, Desso. Uh, Desso, your eyes are better than mine. That's pretty, that's sharp suitor. Hey, clean it again. If in doubt, clean it again. When it goes into the steriliser, it shrinks and creates sort of a cover for the instrument and they're sterilised. And they wait for the surgeon to use them and then come back again to the whole cancer. Yeah. To wrap something, you need to put something underneath. This also protects and help prevent any holes. To double check everything and to, again, to make sure that everything is sterile, we put in one of these indicators. At the moment it's yellow. And once it goes through the sterilisation, this yellow line turns black. Like wrapping and presents. Pretty good wrapping presents. Hey. Yeah. Once it goes through the sterilising process, it turns black.
So that's now cleaned and wrapped. So cleaned, dried and wrapped and ready for sterilisation. So not quite sterile yet, but you this So uh, tell me what's it, what are you scanning here and uh, and what's the what's the value of scanning? This uh, this is the sterilizer that we have to sterilize the yep. insurance. It's just a, a practice of the standard that we have uh, before. Yep. That it's that it's been done to sterilize. Yep. And that, that it's only all about the coding, yeah. Yep. Right. So you're able to track so yeah, that so that so the scanning process is so that you can so that you can track all of the instruments throughout their whole journey from the start to the finish. So we can so we can identify the quality of the of the sterilization and if there was a problem. Yeah. So tell me what this machine is and how it works. This is the, the final uh, stage of the, the end of the instrument to be sterilized yep. before it goes to the theater in the studio. And how does it work? Um, we have a steam, steam sterilization and it has its own um, temperature and pressure and, and time. And the temperature is 134 to kill all the whatever microorganisms that is in there. And also uh, there's a, a, a PPA to the holding time, how long it stays there. So what I'd like to know is how do you know, how do you know 100% that it's definitely sterile? Okay. We, we have a lot of, um, just to make us happy and also be sure also that we have the PCD and the instruments, they, they change, that's one thing. And then they also we have another um, uh, type. Indicator. That change, change color. Yep. This, this, it has to be yep. black. So these ones, these yes. ones are sterilized because yes, the indicator has sterilized. turned. Yep. Yes. Yep. All of that, and also we have to check also the the parameters. We have 134. So that's a read. That's a that's, so that's a readout of the yeah. of the, the sterilizer. The parameters, um, yeah. Sterilizer. Yeah. There is 134, and then there's a 10 minutes holding time, and then there's another four minutes to to be sure that is really ready, and that's the standard that we have to go through. Yep. Yeah, so multiple layers of safety there, yes. isn't there? We've yes. got multiple indicators and multiple things that we're tracking. Correct. Yes. Okay. So these are all the trays that have been sterilised. You can see that they're all wrapped up. And so uh, they're all wrapped up in their sterile containers there. And we open them up at the time of the surgery. This is Maggie, she's the scout nurse today. And uh, this is Pat, he's the, uh, he's the lead instrument nurse today. Maggie and Pat are going to show us uh, about instrumentation and uh, opening it up and how we know that it's sterile or not. So uh, as you can see there's a whole lot of instrumentation here for this case and uh, every single little piece of this has to be 100% squeaky clean and uh, so here's a tray which uh, includes some of the instruments that we're going to use today and uh, Pat's going to take us through what he does to be able to ensure that this is 100% sterile. So off you go Pat. So before we uh, open the tray, we're looking at these uh, bits of tape that are sealing close the tray, and they are sterilisation indicators. They change from yellow to black, so we know that it's been sterilised, it's been through the sterilisation process. We're also looking for any breaks in sterility, any holes that might be in the uh, tray before we open it. 
and maybe it's going to happen in a sterile fashion. One of the first things I'm looking for in the tray is this sterilisation indicator, which is the same as the tape on the outside. This is yellow before it's sterilised, and now it's turned to black, showing us that it's been sterilised. I'm picking up the tray, I'm then again, Maggie and I are looking for any breaks in sterility, any holes. If there was any holes, we put the tray down, change our gloves and get another tray. This one's alright. Put it down, where are we going to use it? Yeah. 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 